up in them Chevys She about to crack my main trap, I name Betty Big niggas don't want no smoke on my body Gucci and Louis can't do no tonight Yo, what is up, y'all? So, first, don't mind the background noise It might be some birds, it might be some cars Because, you know, we're right next to a highway But, anyways we're gonna go get into this video real quick. It's gonna you know, go over some of the interior mods I've done in the G. I've done quite a few things since I've had this car. So a few people have seen you know, some of the notable things with the star lighting and um, a few other things that I showed in like my other videos. Cause some of the, the last video I did was talking about interior mods. That was actually, some of it was my car, some of it wasn't. I'm pretty sure I put a little disclaimer at the pictures. Like if it wasn't my car, I put like at the bottom, not, not my car, you know? Just cause like, I'm not gonna fake y'all, which I think like, oh, this car is like this. God damn loud ass pickup truck. Anyway, we're gonna get into it. We're just gonna go with some interior mods. Um, before we get into it though, just wanna let y'all know the videos might slow up just because, you know, I just started back school and I am a college student. And yo, money tight, y'all. Like, money tight. But, you know, obviously working while in school to get a few things done, got a few priorities. Not only do I do the car stuff, I also got like another YouTube channel where I discuss something else. If y'all wanna see that, I'm not gonna tell y'all, I just gotta find me on your own. You know, I got like the build of audience of like natural, like um, what you call it, natural engagement. You know, like you naturally like what I'm doing on that channel. But right now, let's just right into it. First thing up with the G, as soon as you get in the car, let's see. Uh, we'll start as soon as you get in the car as a passenger. We're going to go from the back seat and then we'll go, go to the front. So as soon as you get in the car as a passenger, first thing you're going to notice is I got a few things here. Let's see. I have... These right here, I have a few, I have a curtains that I don't have the curtains in the front seat. They're only in the back seat. I was going to do the front one so that the VIP build, but it was kind of hindering vision and I didn't have time to deal with it because I do daily drive this car. So first thing you get, you see the, the curtains on that side, right here on this side. I'll put a link to where I got everything down below. Next up, I have these right here. These are just, uh, well, I just had to name them the other day. Just talking about these, but these are basically little curtain tie downs. Just, just that little something for the back seat. When you first, when you get in the back seat, don't say you get in. You're like, oh, this is this is something different, you know. Have the curtains here, and then you look in, you look around. It's like, wow. And then you know, obviously we have right here. This is the, when the door opens. We have my lighting. I had everything set to purple. Boom, boom, boom. And then right now, I mean, it, it did look pretty clean right now. I'm not gonna lie, I did clean everything. Oh, wait. but so first though, like I said, we have curtains. Next, we have the tie downs for the curtains. These, these right here. And then if you look downwards, keep keep the keep the flow going down. We have floor mats right here. I did get diamond stitch floor mats. Um, some of this stuff I'll just start shoot straight up B roll so I can see that stuff. But I do have diamond stitch floor mats with the Infinity logo in white. They're full black on black. The only thing that's white is going to be the Infinity logo. Um. As you know, as I mentioned before, I do have the purple lighting as well. Wow, that's a nice WRX. But I do have the purple lighting as well. And most notably, we have stars in the car. Uh, so let's just keep it pushing back from, from the backseat to the front. Because there's nothing else really going on back there. As you get in the car, as you know, passenger princess get in the car. And you come in, you're like, whoa. This is kind of, you know what I'm saying? This is kind of nice. Like I said, it's kind of nice. But... Moving on, we, you know, we have the carbon fiber in overlays. These, these right here, over here. I have them all up on the dash. So it's going to be over here. I have the ones over here too as well. It's just the flows, you know, it makes a nice flow going on right. Um, not only do I have the carbon fiber overlays, I did actually order something for the top piece right here. Like this right here, I wanted to get something to cover this as well. I wanted to match this. So hopefully when it does come in, it does match the same as this. Cause these right here are what you call like a real carbon fiber overlay. They're basically, now knock me if I'm wrong, y'all, I'm, I'm sorry, but I don't know the whole process, but I'm pretty sure it's basically, you know, you get like a, you know, carbon fiber is kind of thin, you know, it's lightweight. You know, you get the carbon fiber laid down flat and you put like a gel over it just to make sure it protects it from like, you know, scratches or anything. And then it basically, you know, just polish up that, polish up that gel. Um, there is a big difference between real carbon fiber overlays and fake just because the fake ones will fade over time so you'll have like discoloration in them when the sun stays on them for too long uh i was actually worried when i bought these because you know they they when you they advertise it as real carbon fiber overlays it does get pretty pricey and i was kind of scared because like i said I, you know I, I dropped a I dropped a big big little bag uh, well for for interior it was a little big bag for that you know and i was like i hope these are real because i don't want them to fade over time i don't want to have that look of like 
it just like you know looking like shit so i mean so far i've been pretty strong i had them in for a year and a half yeah come on i had, I had the car for a while two years and then i had a year for a year and a half so so far they still look brand new like if you look at them they are still real shiny y'all like i kid you not these things are still pretty much brand new despite like a few like scratches like at this point right here's a little edge scratch but other than that there's not much going on wrong with them and like staying in the passenger seat there's a few more things i want to point out as well as my dashboard i know a lot of people have asked me yo where did you get the uh, material for this how did you do this this is honestly something that i just saw like i had the idea for the project like a long time ago it was supposed to be this dashboard right here and also like the whole like center console like i'm supposed to do all of this and also this top door cards right here but i ended up not doing the dock with the door cards i just ended up just just doing the dashboard and honestly just the dashboard itself is pretty simple I, in my opinion it just flows really well with the interior like the, the headliner i did which we're gonna get to that next just give me a second but the, like the, just the dash itself like i had that you know the booty backstroke suede stop playing it's backstroking oh my anyways i have that um honestly I did, that was literally a quick project i did i actually got this fabric from aliexpress a lot of people like you got this on amazon got this on amazon i actually didn't i got this on aliexpress it took a while longer for it to come because you know a lot of the stuff over there is overseas but it was definitely worth it in my opinion now i know a lot of people are like oh if you buy stuff in china it's not the same quality uh is you know you get lesser quality stuff now don't get me wrong this is not a thick piece of suede like i have my headliner is but this is good enough for a dashboard you know what i'm saying because like a dashboard like i know you can do the flocking method or you can um actually i think it's just that thing it's just a flocking method or you could use like a thicker suede i guess like um how like my headline is a thicker suede but this is honestly perfect for a dashboard just because you don't want something too heavy and sit on your dashboard if it's too heavy it's gonna start weighing down and it might actually just start lifting in my opinion so this is honestly like a thin sheet of um suede material it actually already has a backing too they have an adhesive backing one that I got, I'll leave a link, but link for everything in the description below. But I already had the back and forth, so it was just like a quick, simple, like lay down, smooth out. Um, as I say, quick, simple. I uh, remember how how tedious the process was, and it took me, my friend, about like an hour and change. So maybe not so quick and easy, but once you get everything down, laid up, get it aligned pretty well, it does come out and look pretty amazing, in my opinion. It does. It is worth the time that it took. Moving on, next we have we have the shifter no we're not manual yes we are still you know running this that uh, automatic unfortunately some people are like oh oh manual or nothing but i mean at the end of the day i still got paddle shifters you know i could be a deuce with the passes anyways but i do have this shifter right here this shifter as well is actually for actual from amazon as well it's not from the same place i got the like the the overlays which is kind of crazy because the weave is honestly well this is this is honestly a bigger weave carbon fiber than the the shifter itself but i mean it came out pretty well in my opinion that's that and that was just a little quick something i did i literally just popped off the old one i still had the old one I actually popped off the old one and put this one in i'm honestly going to get a new one at some point um i want to get the shifter that uh it looks like the oem shifter just with the carbon fiber so i'm actually finding a way to get that done either it's going to be custom made for me or I'm gonna see if I can just buy one that's already pre-made. But let's go move around, cause you know we gotta keep moving. We can't just stay still for too long. Come on now, I gotta, I gotta exercise. You know, I gotta get my daily walks in. But moving on, we're gonna go into the driver's seat, just cause driver's seat is where like that's where the action is. You know, that's where the magic happens. You know, that's 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 my sanctuary. You know, oh shoot, there's stuff in my sanctuary. Oh. What? Like I said, we're, we're now in the driver's seat of the car. Hold on, that sun is, is it hitting me? I hope it's hitting me because I, I think I look good in the sun, you know? Anyway, um, we're in the driver's seat right now. A uh, few things that's going on over here in the driver's seat. We have the we have the same carbon fiber overlays we have on the steering wheel. I got this little cheap thing as well. I'm kind of embarrassed to show it a little bit just because it wasn't a real carbon fiber mod. And it, so, so depending on how you feel you're gonna be like this is either really really cheesy or you're gonna be like okay you made a little subtle touch and they do a little something but let me show y'all i have the carbon fiber on the um this little like uh this the, the steering bezel right here just because if you don't know this right here actually does fade and like chips a lot as you see right here that's this whole material is what's under this so i got this just to cover it up 
and it, it worked out in my favor just because it look uh, it looks a lot better. I should probably turn the steering wheel because this is this is kind of bugging me. To the car. Right? Let's get that straightened up real quick. All right, there we go. So you know, woo, I love the, I love that feeling of the seat rolling back for you and everything. All right, y'all. Back to what I was saying. Um, I lost where I was at because you know I had to you know deal with the car, but. I have the steering bezel. Um, I do have these little these little clip-on pieces right here. I don't know how real they look. Some people say they look kind of real. They look like they're actually part of the steering wheel, but I can promise you they're honestly not. I'm sorry. I am gonna get a new. I do want to get a new steering wheel, but these are honestly like little. All right. So they've been on for so long that they. I forgot how it works. The material it is it was meant to mold to your steering wheel. So after a while, you know, if it being on heating up, getting cold, heating up, getting cold, the plastic kind of like. It gets like that that mold of your steering wheel so they're actually on the, they're on there pretty tight when i first got them they were loose and it was harder to like you know be staring with them because especially if i'm turning like you know turn sharp real quick they would slide down a little bit so i don't have that problem no more which i'm pretty happy that doesn't happen but they're i don't know i, I could tell that they're not like an actual carbon fiber material in my opinion they, they just look like hydro dip carbon fiber but i mean hey man it was like six dollars and you know whatever man six dollars is $6 is, we're not gonna get to $6 is. But moving on, uh, let's see, we're keeping it into interior. Um, I might as well talk about the, the, what's above me, y'all. I, I might as well. Let's turn the car real quick. Let's see that. Turn that off for now. Turn off the radio. We had the stars, y'all. And honestly, they are sick as fuck, y'all. So as you see right here, I have the Infinity logo in the back seat with some shooting stars. A few things I tried to do the the little dipper, you know, kind of didn't come out right because I you know, messed up with that extra one. So oh well. But uh, a few other things around here. I have it all around. Let me show you. Out. This is a full headliner, full star headliner. I even did the sunroof. This is kind of difficult to pull out now. That, now realizing, I wish I didn't, but. I even did the sunroof. Everything is done in this car. Even the back of it, everything. And everything um, is just wired to the trunk. Uh, I had a few people ask me how I wired it. And honestly, it was nothing too hard. Let me just get in, show y'all. So if you look back here, back seat with me, um, I actually wired everything like, you know, if you, know how, if you know how it looks, it looks like spaghetti until you tidy everything else. So everything's tidy up in little tubes. Running all the way down here, through here, right? Through this light, this little um, back pillar right here. And that back pillar also houses your, I want to say your tail light control. Uh, I think it's a tail light control. But if you come into the trunk, I'm going to get my trunk open. Of course, the trunk is open. Where are my keys at? Oh, it's the keys inside. No, let me turn it over all right, y'all. My bad, y'all. This is really a professional. We come into the trunk. Oh. Honestly, the trunk should be part of the interior as well because my trunk is, yo, know, my trunk is ready for a bag like setup. You know what I'm saying? This is a bag setup trunk right here. We have white tiles setup. Whew. Anyways, back, back to the where the stars are. The star controller is right back there. Let's see if I can get in there. Ugh. This is the star controller. There it is. But everything's wired up there, through straight to the trunk. And like I said, you know, we had the um, the little the little trunk set up right here. Nothing too special. So to be honest with y'all, that's that's uh, it's kind of it with the G, y'all. Uh, I mean, some people ask like, "Yo, where you got the stuff from?" It's not then. Uh, Nothing's too crazy. Nothing's too hard. You know, I mean, the hardest thing in this interior was the uh, obviously the starlight because that took a while. But if we're not if we're not counting the starlight, um, that's it, man. Everything's pretty easy. Oh, one more thing I did forget actually. We, I forgot because the lights are off. We have these a little floor lighting. Just a little set the little just a little footwell lighting right there. Just to set the little ambiance, if you know what I mean. Especially with their own wheel. You know, when they have the footwells on red and the stars on red as well, they flow so well. Majority of the time, I actually leave it on blue though, just with the stars on blue, because that full blue look, it just looks like menacing. Either blue or purple, but 
that's pretty much it, y'all. Thanks for tuning in. This was a, I don't know how long this video is even going to be anymore. But this is just a little something I wanted to put together. Just to go over the interior mods. I'm going to leave all the links below for y'all. Just because I know some people want to know where I, where to get a few things. Um, Because this car is, um as much as it has like aftermarket support, it's not the easiest to find certain things. So I'm going to leave the little links in for y'all so y'all can see that. I have a few more things coming for this interior as well. So when I get that stuff, I'll do like a little unboxing of that and just go over it. Now, stay tuned, y'all. Catch you in the next video. Make sure I keep watching my videos as well. Subscribe, like, uh, comment if you wanted me to do anything special. Um, like literally anything. I could. I got a lot of projects in mind. Uh, I know I've mentioned the headlight project for a long time. It is coming soon. One, it takes time to do those headlights. Two, it takes money. And three, I just haven't ordered the stuff yet. Um, I'm going to get on it. Uh, with, with school, like I said, I just started school, like it's my what, first week right now, bit. Yeah, so it's been my first week so far. So it's gonna, you know, I got a few things I gotta get done. Like, yeah, school ain't easy, man. But I mean, maybe one day I'll do like a life checkup with they just to like talk about like what I'm doing in life, so just so y'all understand like why like videos like take time, you know? But anyways, catch on in the next video. Stay tuned. The sun is blessing me right now, and I'll see y'all. Peace.